All right, guys, welcome back. So this time we're going over moving platforms. And this is one of those things that is actually a lot harder than you would initially think when you first start to implement them. Uh, fortunately, the character controller uh, makes this a whole lot easier uh, than if you were to do all of this manually. Uh, so yeah, I'm just taking the moving platform component and authoring and system uh, and straight from this tutorial and we're just uh, copy pasting it directly in, into Unity here. Uh, so let's just hop over into the code. This won't take too long. So our platform component data uh, just consists of some configuration data here for the direction we're moving in the distance, how fast we move it. Uh, we have a rotation axis and a rotation speed. Uh, we have some hidden bools and floats for storing our position and rotation when we first initialize. Um, and then the authoring, of course, is just uh, baking all this out to an entity. The actual system here, um, it's pretty short, but uh, you do have to make sure that it is updating in the before physics systems group um, because we are going to be changing the velocity of this uh, and our player uh, needs to have that velocity before the physics groups actually updates. Uh, here in update, we're just stashing our delta time, uh, the inverse delta time, which we use for calculating the velocity down below, uh, and then just the elapsed time. In our job here, we're just getting the actual moving platform, uh, its physics velocity, mass, and its local position. Here, just on the first frame, uh, we'll just initialize, we save the original position, rotation from our platform. This is used here uh, for our our target position that we are getting a sign function here to our speed and time. So this will give us a nice uh, ping pong motion back and forth. As the sign goes negative, that will be our negative speed and the distance is where it will go back and forth. Uh, we also just doing a rotation that is just multiplied by time. So it will just constantly rotate uh, on whichever axis we choose. Uh, then we'll just get the target rotation from our original rotation and our target uh, movement here. And then finally, we have the physics velocity calculate velocity to target. And what this does is just takes our local transform and position, which is the old position, and then we will pass in a new rigid transform, which is our target rotation and position. And then it will, we give it the inverse delta time. So this will give us a velocity to reach the target position and rotation over the delta time. So for the next frame, it will smoothly change our velocity. Uh, and that's basically Basically, all the code here. Let's hop into Unity and make a platform. All right, so we'll just make a cube here ish. All right, so what we'll do here is just throw on our moving platform authoring, give it a direction, distance. We won't do rotation just yet. And we have to put a rigid body here. And then we'll just want to make sure that it is dynamic. So you see how it is kind of sloppy here as we move up and down. That is kind of the naive way to do a moving platform. We're just moving it up and down, but with the character controller, we have a track to transform authoring. And what this does, we'll look in the code real quick. Here in our aspect, we have this moving platform detector. And what this does is if we are grounded on a track to transform, then we set the player's parent to be that platform. So we are stuck on that platform. And here we are no longer moving. And what the track transform will also do is impart its the platform's momentum to the player when it leaves the ground. So if we're moving up and jump, we jump high. And if we go jumping while it's moving down, we jump lower than we normally would. Another thing that you will want here is to synchronize the collision world in your physics step. And this will just make sure that the player always has the most up-to-date collision world while it's calculating uh, its collisions. Another thing we can do here is if we make it kinematic, we still move, uh, but you don't get the 
player jitter. And that's basically it for moving platforms. Uh, next time, we are going to handle slopes and step handling, like going upstairs and whatnot. So yeah, we will uh, see you next time.